Thanks for staying with us. Joining us on the show now is an actress, filmmaker, producer, entrepreneur, and brand influencer with years of experience yes. in the Nigerian movie industry. Welcome with us, Toyi Ibrahim Ajayemi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank Good you to so have much. you in the building. Thank you. So we've been hearing all over the place, Ijakumo, Ijakumo, Ijakumo. What's going on? This is your new movie that is trending like this. What's the movie? Tell us about the movie. Um, it's about a pastor. You know, I actually saw the story in my dream. You know, there was a time I wanted to shoot Laje. So I've even been to Oshobo for Reiki. So I slept and I had a dream. I'm not joking. You know, most times I dream a lot. I, I get, yes, I'm gifted. But I just, most times, you know, you just don't want to follow ignore. it. Mm. We just ignore. But now I've made up my mind to always follow the lead of the Holy Spirit. So. I, so I saw it in my dream. In fact, in the dream, it was a YouTube movie. So a lot of people were telling me, ah, why will you make this kind of film for YouTube? Do it cinema, let it be big. But I'm happy I made the movie. So it's about a pastor, you know. It's about people, what they do. Pers double personalities. Yes, it's who they are. That's mm. So who they really are. Mm. You know, some people that come outside, pretend to be all good. Mm. You know, like our society, we feel, Oh, the people that talk, they're being themselves, they're the terrible ones, the ones who are calm, oh, holy, holy, they're the good ones. But Let I me think. pause you for a second, because I want us to watch the clip. Uh, yeah. Please, let's see the clip of Ijakumo. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. That was some powerful stuff. And that's in the cinemas? Yes. When, when, did it open? when is it coming to festival, Mom? Uh, it's every, uh, hey, Magbamike. <laughs> it's everywhere. In fact, it opens at um, regular cinemas in the United States today okay. and Odeon cinemas in the UK today. When in Nigeria, man? We've started since 23rd now. Oh, in fact, so oh, if I go to it's uh, gross in, Genesis yeah, it's or everywhere. one of those cinemas, it's everywhere in Nigeria. Oh, definitely. Even the okay. smallest cinema. So let me ask about the. I will go with my partner this weekend. Please yeah, do. Yeah, you will partner. love it because <laughs> I, it's, okay. it's actually. Let's talk about um, the, the writer, the script, because I'm Sometimes when we see movies like this, we wonder, is it really real? Or just when you just woke up one morning and just come up with a story and then put it out there? Because many of our mothers, they believe that everything they see on Hollywood ah, is real. Ah. And I'm thinking, after that, I'm like, mommy, please, sometimes mm. this is just it's fiction. fiction. It's just fiction. But is this inspired by real events or is it pure fiction? Like I said, I saw it in my dream, but I realized that a lot of people can relate to it. It's relatable. Mm. It is my story. It is my story. I was telling us something that is rated. We have nudity, we have some like sex, everything is, is actually rated 18. Because if I really properly want to tell my story, I need those things mm. to be there. Mm. So it's, um, it's some, something I saw in my dream. And I know it's relatable because I know, yes, it's happening. I've had a lot of stuff. But it wasn't a true life event. event. But it was something I saw in my dreams. Yeah. But you can relate to it. Mm. Fantastic. I've seen, I've seen um, a lot of your work. I've seen the um, Elevator Baby, the marriage, uh, celebrity marriage, and some roles that you do, you make it so real. Make it almost as if you've lived it. How do you fall into character? Is it because you've seen someone who's done it in the past, or it's just something at the time you, you yeah, enter nice. into? How do you, how do you get into that? Um, you know, in life, some people learn things, some people are gifted. Let me just say I'm talented, I'm gifted. Mm. So because I can, I can, yes, it comes naturally. So I can't really explain. I didn't learn it. When you give me scripts, I just read. Then maybe because I'm, I'm a free-minded pe person, mm. I'm free with everybody. So when you give me a script, I'm sure I've met someone that behaves like that. You understand? But it's not something I'm I... trying to remember I think I'm this gifted. one that was an epic movie. I guess she call it. Uh, I guess she call it. The role was such that it was really traditional. I, I sat down, particularly watched your role twice, because of there was a gunshot and it was almost like there was a flashback. I was a bit okay. confused. I had to sit on that particular part twice, watching it again. And for that is why I'm asking the question, because that is something none of my uh, generation would have experienced, except maybe we see people do. And then you played it so well, it looked so real. Yeah. It must be something inspired from someone 
Is it Agashi Kole? In Agashi Kole, that role of the king's wife and the I mean, that movie was fantastic. Was fantastic. Yeah. Relay, relay to the producer. It's, it's, um, like yes, Femi Adebayo. Femi Adebayo, he tried. He yeah, did amazing. Yeah, I started my career as a Yoruba actress, and these are things we've done in the... I've done a lot of traditional movies. So I'm sure because this is like the first time something of such is coming to the mm. cinema. So to me, it's no big deal. Mm. This so, film that you're talking about, that you saw it in your dream, did you see the whole film in your dream? Oh, or did it just come in flashes? Or how, how did you actually dream it? I saw everything. Oh, I saw wow. the whole film. But me. you know, yes. But you know, when you are, there's, there's a difference between movies. When you're when you are, then when you want to write a story, it's, 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 when you want to execute, thank you, when you want to execute it into a movie, you, you cannot, there are some things you, you put, there are some things you remove, there are some things you have to put so that yeah. it will be at it's least, yeah. yes, it's, then yeah. it will be more entertaining. So we have to add some things, remove some things. Oh. But the concept, the story, I actually saw it was a film. I saw people, I saw people coming out and they were telling me, you know, dream is, it comes in a mm -hmm. funny way. You know, imagine people coming out from YouTube and telling me, ah, film me, I don't go. Tell me, why will you put such movie in, mm -hmm. on YouTube? Why not cinema? And they were coming out from YouTube. So I was like, oh. So I woke up, I just sent a voice note mm. to one of my wow. um, crew, who happens to be my friend, Tunji Afalayan, mm. is the act director. So I just, you know, I said, ah, this story is crazy. So I now called my writer, who, is, mm. who happens to be Kende Joseph. Mm. So I called Mr. Kende, I told him the story, I was like, Tony, if this is not the best story I've ever heard, this is going to be one of the best stories. And when Kendi, when Kendi Joseph tells you that Kendi is big, like one of the biggest writers we have, <laughs> I'm sure in Africa, is big, you know. So when he tells you that, know that, yes. Because sometimes when you call him, you tell him story, we just tell you, okay, it will go. You will not see him again. <laughs> because I think sometimes he doesn't know how to tell you that I don't like the story, I can't write the story. Well, lazy folks like me, I mean, many of us are very lazy. We're just so used to... Netflix, Prime Video, you know, like that's the easiest thing to do. Most At some point, should we look forward to it coming on, on, on any of these um, oh, yes. online platforms? Yes, of course. Eventually. After the... Uh, Make like your money first in yes. the cinema. Oh, don't like, don't answer lazy people. No. We are making, at least we are, Nigeria, we are over 200 million. Yeah, and um, we are, we just opened today at Regal Cinemas in the United States. Where in the United States? Pretty big. Yeah. Maryland, all the, all the Atlanta, Regals. Houston, New York. Um, all Auckland, the Philad uh, yes, almost all, all the regular cinemas. Okay. And we are in like eight sites, Odeon, Greenwich, um, Surrey Keys in UK. Okay. Oh, there are a lot of people here that are quite happy to see you on the show. Mm -hmm. Someone says, Gladys Oyebo says, beautiful actress, Tony Abraham, um, and World Best. Someone is calling you World <laughs> That's Best. That's my nickname. Hey, yes. oh, someone else is saying, wow, plenty of okay. people are really happy to see you here. Fantastic, don't worry. Yeah, we're going to go on it. We're going I wanted to ask, to ask a happy. question. So, um, being someone who's done movies that I've seen on large scale, this is not your first time in the cinema, I can count them. This is my fifth time. So, we know that you have experience. What, what is it like funding production? Because I find it, when I see some level, small, small people coming out and say, I'm an actress and a producer, I'm like, ah. Is it everybody that produces? Mm. As how is cheap is this production team? Mm. Yeah. What exactly? How is it funding a full production like in Jacob? Thank you so much for this question. Mm. Trust me, this question means a lot to me. You know, some people think I sh back then, they think I shoot a bad movie. No, I don't shoot a bad movie. I shoot a low budget movie. Mm. You know why? Because there's no fund. I'm an actress. This is the only thing I do. I tried going into business, but it doesn't work for me. I just realized business is not my thing. My thing is to do movies, act, then talk about other people's products and get paid for it. Render services, you know. So I stopped. So this is the only thing that puts food on my table. And I'm not from a rich home, you know. Everything you see, everything I am, it is God and my hard work. Mm. And huge thanks to my fans, Tony and Titans. I love you guys so much. You guys are amazing. And to my wonderful team, thank you guys so much. You know, so... It's the money that I have, the budget that I have, I'm going to shoot with. Inshallah, mm. Lojali. So if I have three million, I would cut my coat according to my size. So when you see it, it is not a bad movie. It is not a bad story. But it's a low, low budget. budget. Mm. Because sometimes I'm supposed to use maybe 
champagne here. I'll go and look for maybe one cheap thing or water. I'll just say, oh, wine. just use, I won't even, I just will I can walk, can you can you mix? So you oh, will yeah. know. Yeah. Mm. I might want to get an apartment. Okay, see a rich person. Okay, imagine I have three million to shoot a movie. Mm. And there's a house, okay, we want to try and do good, maybe governor or maybe a senator that is rich, a rich person. And I get to the location, and I have maybe like 25 cents, and you're telling me to pay 500 or 800,000 per day to shoot in the house. This is a long mokodani. Yeah. Are you getting it? So I will have to cut. So at the long run, you will now say, I'll just use one small plate. But a lot of people will not focus on the story. They but I will thought just... there were things like Bank of Industry and organizations. Hey, it, it, like you it. just hear about it. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. But now, my last movie, The Ghost and the Tower, was better, but this, I'm sure this is one of the best movies they've ever shot in Nigeria. I'm saying this with my full chest. Mm. And I shot with a lot of millions. Mm -hmm. 2022 Rose Royce. Yes, there are some locations. There's my godparents. There are some I paid for. Mm -hmm. You know, my godparents, Mr. and Mrs. Farquhar, yeah, there are cars, there are um, yeah. boats, some things, you know. But now yeah. I can confidently tell because I shot for like six or almost seven weeks. Wow. Because, yes, because there's money to shoot. Mm. Right. There's money to shoot. So it wasn't, so it's not a bad movie. So now everybody's, oh, he's Jack more wonderful. Mm. Because there was fun, there was money. Mm. And my brand is bigger. I can talk to <laughs> brands. Yes. I have like three brands gave me money. I don't want to mention brands' name. Mm. So now I can walk into any brand and tell them, okay, I, I need you to money. support. They, they will, because now they trust my yeah. brand. Yeah. Mm. That's so, fantastic. So I think, well, cool. Congratulations on that. Yeah. Thank you so I have much. to go on a break because... We discuss your career, Ijakumo, what's going on. Now we want to gist with Tony Abraham because we I want, want to, to ask you about these uh, trolls. We want to have, we want to talk on, to you about family, internet. family, marriage, being a mother, um, being you, a wife, the whole thing. Stay with trolled? us. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.